Taylor County has been preserving and restoring official records and documents, some dating back to when the county was first established in the late 1800s. The county recently started digitizing records of actual pages. KTAB's Claire Kreitz shows us exactly what is being restored. More than a century of history, all within arm's reach. Record books fill the Taylor County Clerk's Office, even predating the county itself. We have some records back to 1858. With archives that chronicle Abilene's founding families and the very first county meetings. That shows our lineage, that shows our genealogy, the history, what happened in Taylor County on any given day and time. It's why County Clerk Larry Bevel made it his mission to preserve both past and present. I was elected to serve the people of Taylor County and saving their historical records makes me very proud. I, I kind of think of it as my legacy. The records sent to Dallas to be repaired, cleaned, and put through an acid removal process, then sealed in a polystyrene envelope. It is completely sealed in an aluminum shell. There are um, descant packs here that suck the uh, moisture out of the volume. All to keep these documents in the best condition for those who like to flip back in time. So how did the old commissioner's court deal with these kind of things? What did they do? How did they resolve this? For Taylor County Judge Downing Bowles, combing through pages of old commissioner's court meetings really brings the past to life. There's something special about opening an old book of records and being able to run your hand across the page of the very first meeting of a county commissioner's court. An experience that will continue as each restored book is placed back on the shelf. In Abilene with coverage you can count on, Claire Kreitz, KTAB News. Fascinating. Thank you, Claire. So far, the county has completed projects like commissioners meeting, uh, meeting minutes, civil court minutes, property records, and more. Each book costs about $2,500 to prepare and store. It's paid for through an archive fee.